Developing tonight, a SWAT situation in southwest Miami-Dade after a man barricades himself inside a home and he wasn't the only one in there. Police say multiple people were also inside and not all of them were able to survive. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates joins us live from the scene tonight with more. Bobeth. Well, Carly, this entire ordeal began around 4 p.m., but if you look behind me, you can still see that it's a very active scene as officials are continuing to investigate. They say they were hoping to resolve this without injuries, but that did not occur. He was barricaded inside the residence. Um, it warranted the call for their special response team and a hostage negotiator. Angel Rodriguez, a Miami-Dade homicide detective, is talking about a SWAT situation at a home near Southwest 191st Terrace and Southwest 129th Avenue. But he says those negotiations never occurred because while officers were attempting to make contact, they heard a gunshot and had to enter the home. The Miami-Dade Police Department special response team made entry into the residence and upon doing so discovered a deceased adult male and two deceased adult females. Officials say they're working to figure out the relationship between the three people found dead. A fourth victim did manage to get out of the home and even though he was shot, he made it to his neighbor's house to call 911. That person is said to be the father of the deceased male and he was transported to the hospital in stable condition. The entire situation has those who live close by on edge. It's definitely scary to see a helicopter this close to my home. I have like little nieces. Uh, I was just trying to keep everyone in the house as much as possible. As for Miami-Dade police, they say they'll continue to investigate. Detectives are looking at every bit of information. Tonight, the Coast Guard has ended their search for a man who had been missing since Friday night after someone found his body in the water near Miami Marine Stadium. We brought you this news yesterday. 27-year-old Latrell Harris traveled to South Florida from New York and was last seen aboard a charter vessel. Crews with several Miami and Miami-Dade agencies searched for Harris for nearly 30 hours, including by helicopter and in the water.